If you guys are looking for a fast and easy way to farm for exotics, and today's legendary lost sector happens to be the quarry, then you clicked on the right video. I'm going to go over a quick guide on the quarry legendary lost sector, and hopefully that's going to help you guys to where you can farm for fast and easy exotics. Now keep in mind that the legend lost sector does rotate daily, so you'll need to check the director to see when this legendary lost sector is active. Also the rewards you get might be different from the day that I'm running this lost sector, today it happens to be helmet, so if you're looking Looking for any exotic helmets, whether the new ones from Beyond Light or any of the other ones you're wanting to get better rolls on, you can definitely farm it today for a chance to get those to drop. So let's get into it. Now first things first, to know which legendary lost sector it is today, you're going to need to check the director. There's 13 legendary lost sectors in total and this is the first one we've seen on the EDZ. This is one of the brand new ones released with Season of the Splicer. So in order to find this on the director, you're going to need to make sure that you've done the quarry lost sector before at least once and you're going to need to make sure you're at least 1260 power level in order for this to show up remember again that the daily legendary lost sector rotates every day so if this is not the lost sector for today you might need to check some of the other destinations like the cosmodrome europa or the moon now for the champions that will be in this lost sector we have anti-barrier as well as unstoppable and the shields we'll need to break will be void along with solar. Now on the seasonal artifact for anti-barrier, we have scout rifles or auto rifles. And for unstoppable, we have sidearms. You can get unstoppable either melee or grenade launcher or even war mine cell explosions, but those are later on in the artifact. And since the season just started, I don't have those unlocked yet. So we're gonna have to stick with sidearm for our unstoppable. Now when it comes to my build, I wasn't my hunter. I decided to run the revenant subclass. So you can see the aspect I have are Grim Harvest, Winter Shroud, and the fragments I'm using, Whisper of Shards, Whisper of Durants, and Whisper of Hedrons. Pretty good PvE setup, I think, for Stasis for the Hunter. Now, for our primary weapon, we're going to be using the Seventh Seraph Carbine so we can generate Warmind Cells, and also so we can take care of the Anti-Barrier Champions. We're also going to be using the Seventh Seraph Sidearm, so that way we can generate more Warmind Cells and get Void for the Shields, along with Unstoppable Sidearm. For our Heavy Weapon, we have to deal with Solar, shields xenophage which is also going to do really good dps now when it comes to our exotic of choice we're using worm husk crown so every time we dodge we're going to heal and the mods on here that i have are wrath of rasputin so every time we kill an enemy with solar slash damage this has a chance to generate war mine cells we also have machine gun ammo finders so that way we have more ammo we can pick up off the ground. Moving on to our arms, we're going to be using fire team medic. So when we destroy a warmind cell, it's going to heal us. And then this is where our seasonal artifact mods will be: the anti-barrier auto rifle, along with unstoppable sidearm. Moving on to our chest piece, we do have power of Rasputin, so we get a bonus to weapon damage whenever enemies are near warmind cells. And we're also going to be using machine gun reserves for our xenophage. Moving on to the boots, we do have global reach, which is going to increase the range of our warmind cells, along with absolution, which will reduce our ability cooldowns whenever we pick up an orb. And finally on our cloak we do have powerful friends so we get the increased mobility along with outreach so it reduces our melee cooldown whenever we use our dodge. Now later on in the season I'll probably make a bare bones guide for this law sector that doesn't include the use of charge with light or more mind cell builds so if you're interested make sure you subscribe as i'll have that video out in the future overall this law sector is a bit interesting and it's very short to be honest once you get to the boss the hardest thing is honestly trying to deal with the anti-barrier champion up top if you manage to stun him and you can damage him enough to kill him the easiest way to beat the boss is to jump up where that anti-barrier champion was, and you'll see when we get through the playthrough. Overall, it's kind of cool that they added some of the EDZ lost sectors to the rotation now, and it's interesting to see if eventually we get every lost sector added to the rotation as well. But that's going to be it for a quick guide on how you can beat the quarry legendary lost sector at 1310 power level in Season of the Splicer. If you guys enjoyed this video, you found it helpful, be sure to let me know in the comments section, and if you want to support me, you can also follow me over on Twitch, Twitch tv slash spirit gaming i'm going to be streaming here on youtube as well as twitch a lot more this season now that the season's out so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video